out after protests in downtown Indianapolis turn violent. Tonight, we are getting our first look at seven people arrested, some accused of shocking crimes. We are uncovering information about what police say they did and digging into their backgrounds, including those who aren't even from the Indianapolis area. RTV6's Liz Adiola has been working on this story all day. Liz, what are you finding out right now about those protesters arrested? Well, Melissa, the area where I'm at right now, this is just a few feet away from where that clash between protesters and police occurred yesterday. Police saying that they tried to speak to the organizers of the rally beforehand to try and make sure that there wasn't any violence. Yet 500 people showed up at that rally yesterday. It was a anti-Donald Trump rally. They were protesting against the president-elect, and they say that there were some people that came to incite people in that crowd to cause a riot. Uh, officers say the rally had uh, people who marched peacefully to the state house. Then things took a turn for the worse. A group of people, some who were newcomers to the crowd, split off heading north, blocking traffic. Some in that group shouting, kill the police, according to officers. Police officers say they spotted two people that they deemed as instigators and arrested those people, while some other people in the crowd began throwing rocks. Other people took off, continuing their protests. Police arrested Cody, Cody Clark for battery of a public safety official resisting law enforcement and disorderly conduct. Aaron and Sarah Marshall, Lee Humphrey and Randall Mayhew were also arrested for disorderly conduct. Humphrey also facing a preliminary charge for resisting law enforcement officers. Police say at least two demonstrators were from out of town as well as several people that they pulled aside for questioning. Police are investigating reports that some of the people in this crowd may have shown up with bags of rocks and with pamphlets that were passed around police wanting to know what was on those pamphlets two officers were hurt while trying to detain people they say were instigating the crowd they are also asking anyone with information like I said before about the rocks or the pamphlets to contact police IMPD say they went as far as to ask counter protesters to leave ahead of yesterday's protest uh, now we are digging into the people that were digging into the information the background of the people who were arrested to get more information about who they were. And I found out that there is actually a fund that has been set up for two of those demonstrators to try and pay for their legal fees. We'll have more about that side of the story coming up on RTV6 at 11 o'clock. Melissa.